Hey planner friends, welcome to Life with Nia. I'm Nia and it is time for an unboxing. If you are new here, I would appreciate it if you would hit that subscribe button and come back and enjoy all of my new content. Today I am unboxing the Jewel Box from Isis Ella Jewels. This is my first time receiving a Jewel Box. Um, this is her quarterly subscription box. I believe it used to be bi-monthly and she changed it this year to quarterly. So to give you some um, info on it, um, it's currently closed right now. I believe the next time you can sign up um, for the subscription is May. And then that box will be mailed at the end of June. So for this box, um, I signed up in February and they were, um, she has like a week or so that she blocks off. So they were shipped um, starting last week, um, the last full week of March. And I received this box today. Today is March 30th. So the jewel box is $35 and um, there is a $8.88 shipping fee. It is a little bit more expensive if it is shipped to Canada, but she does offer shipping to Canada. And um, I believe like, so I can't speak to the recurring billing because I paid um, when I enrolled, but I think it is something like the 17th of the month that, um, so like May would be the next month. So I think it's like the 17th of May is the next time that we'll be billed, but I can't say for sure. I, I would need to look it up to know for certain. Um, but this is it. Um, other than the sneaks that she showed when you could enroll in the box, I have not seen what's in this box. So you're going to get my real life first impressions. Um, I know that there is a really pretty pouch and I know that there's some washi and she always does sticker kits, but I don't know what the sticker kits look like. And I'm very, very surprised because she has a whole jewel squad, jewel squad, um, that they're really good about sharing stuff. So they must be in hush hush mode until these boxes get out uh, because I have not seen any sneaks. So without further ado, let's check out what is inside of our jewel box. And let me just peek because I don't know if there's a packing slip. So, so far no packing slip. And I do want to share the box because I think the box is really nice. It is a black box. It's got her logo here. Isis Ella Jewels, the jewel box. Right here it says the jewel squad. Um, the bottom has my um, shipping label on it. Otherwise it's just plain black. On the inside it says it's your time to shine. And we've got like this little mini menu card. So there's going to be six pattern papers, one pouch, one pen, two washi tapes, one vellum, one acetate, five sticker sheets, and a list pad. I love this sticker. I've saved a few of them. That says, be gentle with yourself on your self-love journey. So, I do not think there is um, a packing slip. I'm going to take this out and get rid of the box. All right, so here is our package of goodies. All right, so here is the pouch. Take it out of this plastic. This was what I had wanted to sign up anyway, but this really sealed the deal for me because I think this is so beautiful. And it says Queen Things, T-I-N-G-Z. Queen Things. Um, but I just think this is gorgeous. It's got a nice um, feel to it. 
and it's really large. Silver zipper, and then the back side, it's like a, kind of reminds me of like a wall or a backdrop. And, um, I think I could fit a whole planner in here. Hold on one second. Okay. So, this is my life planner. And it won't zip. But that just gives you an idea of the size. So, it's sticking out a little bit. But, um... I were to take my half letter, not in an agenda cover, just with the clear cover on top of it. That could go in there very easily. I have room here. I could put pins and things in here and just drop this in my bag and go, which I might actually do because this little pouch is fabulous. Okay, so we've got a pouch. And the inside is just plain black. So that is the first thing in our order. Um, next we have a list pad or notepad. And at the bottom it says, be gentle with yourself on your self-love journey. This is line paper, it says notes, and we have the same doll that's on the um, pouch here down in the corner. So. Um, I'm not sure how many sheets are on here. I would say probably 50. It looks to be um, a good amount. And I love a good list pad. Let's see. I don't think it is sticky. But let's check. What I love is I'm looking at this and already I'm going to use everything in here. So no, it's not sticky, but that is okay. Um, but yes, I'm looking and I will use everything that is in here without a doubt. Only thing that I'm maybe not sure about is the pin because I'm not sure where to put it. And so this is the pin, which it is a beautiful doll. I just don't know where to put her. And she's got a cover um, like plastic over the top. So I'm going to leave that on there for now. But um, pretty pin. And it's got two um, prongs on the back. So I have to figure out what to stick that on. Because it's too pretty to not use, but I don't know yet. Okay, so we have a pin. We have a stickers. So there are five sticker sheets. So we have what she calls journal memes, and this is called Ascend to Greatness. So these are like maybe one and a half inch squares. And I love these because they just fill in the space perfectly when I'm looking for a sticker to put somewhere. So they're just about one and a half inches. Um, one and a half by one and a half, and there's eight of them. Uh, grow up and show up, start the journey, be open to the raw truth, emotionally, spiritually, and mentally secured. Love this sheet. Then we have a sheet of dolls called Ascend into Greatness Dolls. Really pretty. I love the, her little slippers. The attention to detail for Isis Ella Jewel. I just... I mean, I have a sticker shop, I have a stationery shop, and I use my own products, but I think that um, this is probably one of my favorites because the quality and the attention to detail and um, like the customer service, like everything, she just knocks it out the park. And I can find something representative of me. And so that's important to me as well. Um, so this is the also the Ascend to Greatness doll. So we have a total of five different dolls. So you have this sheet and this sheet of dolls. And you get um, three different sizes. So you've got a bigger one here, two mediums, and two smalls. And it is that way with um, all of them. It's one small on that one and... 
these are not quite the same size, but you've got five of them there. This is the only one where there's four. So there's that. Then you've got two weekly kits. So this is the Ascend to Greatness kit. Um, sis, you have the power to create and the power to destroy. Choose wisely. It's a really pretty color scheme. And then this one says greatness is in you. Sis, level up on the inside. Glowing and growing on the royal path to authenticity. So those are the stickers. Then we have um, acetate. So there's one sheet of acetate. And that is this one on top. Which if you turn it this way, it looks like lips. Um, but if you turn it this way, it could be a design. So really pretty. And she had... Um, once a month, we do what's called the No Hoarding Challenge, and you use your products. And it's Zoom, and it's like a big planner get-together with all your girlfriends. And we used our acetate and learned how to make a floating page marker. So I made two, and I'm going to make a couple more because I want one for my half letter. And I used acetate from Simply Gilded, and I used acetate from Isis Ella Jules. And I made these two little floating page markers. So I always had just sort of didn't know what to do with my acetate. So I just didn't use it. Uh, but now that I've learned um, and I'm not so afraid to cut it anymore, I you know, have a little project that I'm kind of obsessed with making those little page markers. So um, one sheet of acetate, we've got a sheet of vellum, which is really pretty. I love the design on here. And then there are six pieces of paper. And these are like not heavy cardstock, but um, definitely heavier than regular paper. And so you have two of each design. So we have this one, this one, and this one. And typically the back side is different, which is the case with these. So because you get two of each one, if you like really like this side and you really like this side, which is the back, you have one of each. So you don't have to choose. So here is the back side. I really like this. And then there's the back of this one. And then this bow print is the back of this one. So we have six sheets of paper, one sheet of vellum, one sheet of acetate, our five sticker sheets, our pouch, our pen, our list pad, and then we have two um, rolls of washi tape. And I'm going to open these up. This, I love this concept. This is a stamp washi. And so they look like postage stamps. They're perforated. And so you can use it on the roll um, or you can pull off one stamp at a time and ease it that way. Okay, so I just ripped that. Um, but here's, so you're going to have... This is everything before it starts to repeat. So you've got this doll here, this one in the chair. Not focusing. There's too much going on in the background. If I turn this over. Okay. So there's that, that doll. Stamp that says Queenin. There's a doll. There's one, same one that's on the pouch, and then we're back to the same place. So one, two, three, six, every six stamps, it repeats. So there's that, and then the other roll of washi is these beautiful hearts. These had come in black in another sub box, and then I think the extras were on the website, and they sold out. Um, but this matches the color scheme in the box, and so 
I will put these in my swatch book. But here is the heart. Uh, really pretty, same color, that dark, deep red, burgundy color. So that is the Isis Ella Jewel Box. Let me know what your thoughts are. Um, I'm torn because I don't think that I am going to have anything for Friday Night Lights. And so I had wanted to put this video up for... Friday Night Lights, but today is Monday, y'all. I don't know if I can wait until Friday to share this goodness with you. I kind of want to share it, like, right now. Tomorrow, <laughs> um, geez, it's rough out here. I, I don't know. I have so many videos that need to go up this week. Um, with it being the month in and budget time that I may actually double up a few days this week just to get them all out. Um, so I hope you are ready for some new content. But you see how you can make that an individual stamp? Um, or if I wanted to keep it on the roll... I could just roll it out and have the whole roll laid down. Um, but yeah, these are, I love these. These are just so cute. I can't wait to decorate with these. I am definitely loving the Jewel Box subscription already, um, even though this is my first one. One of the things that I, I really like about it is it's, since it's quarterly, um, that means, you know, it's four times a year instead of 12, which is nicer to my budget. Um, but it's still, I don't feel like I'm missing something because it's not as frequent because she does new releases and other things as well. So, um, yeah, just something to think about. Let me know if you like, um, Monthly subscriptions, quarterly subscriptions, by monthly subscriptions, because I'm doing my own little market research over here. Hint, hint. Anyway, if you made it to the end of this video, that's all I got for you today. You can take that little piece of information and do with it whatever you choose to. I hope that you will hit the like button and subscribe, and I will see you back here next time. Bye!